I saw a man feeling his way this morning uh, because he couldn't see, but all I had to do was open my eyes. Yeah. Open your eyes. Yeah. We're on top of the ground, and the ground is not on top of us. I am Lady Merdeen Gales, and I am the leader of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Committee. For actually 55 years, wow. we've been involved in the Dr. King right. Day. But we were organized 53 years ago by the Aramo, and you know this name, Norman R. Say. We became an organization. Uh, the late brother Bill Bailey. There's so many people that we can name that were involved. Yeah. But here we are, as Dr. Martin Luther King said so many times, still fighting the three evils. Poverty. Somebody say yes. 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 Racism. Yes. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 And violence. Amen. Somebody ought to say no, no, no. In whatever way we can, is no, that no, right? No, no, and right. everyone, right. and that's it. The only way you can make a change is that we've got to exchange things with each other. That's right. We've got to talk about things, is that right? That's right. And after that, we must set a plan of action. But I want you to put your hands together and receive Dr. Michael P. Matt Miller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, good morning. good morning. It is a privilege and an honor to be here. I want to start off by thanking Lady Murdine. Any time that you can do something for 55 years yeah. in a row, whether it is ice, sleep, snow, cold, COVID, Lady Murdine is going to make sure that we are here to honor the life and legacy of Dr. King. That's right. And she mentioned Mr. Gary. Mr. Gary is her right hand to make sure that all of this goes smoothly. So please give them both a thunderous round of applause. Because they make sure that each and every year that we all are reminded of what we must do to live out the dream that Dr. King has given all of us as a pathway to justice. We want to start today in the right manner as this program always does with prayer. And I want to ask Reverend E.G. Robinson to please come and give us the invocation. Yes. Lord, we pray and thank you for the time sharing that you've given us today. That we, as a people, can stand strong on your word. While we ask you to protect us as we travel along these streets. Help us, Lord, to work together, to be together. Oh Lord, give us the wisdom and knowledge to understand the difference between being wise and unwise. Oh Lord, we pray today that you will bless the leaders of this committee and all those that have taken time out to stand on your word. Lord, we pray, this we pray in the name of our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And now we will have scripture from Reverend Kosh representing the St. Louis Clergy Coalition. Please give him a big round of applause as he comes. Micah 6 and 8. What does the Lord require of you? Do justice. Yes. Love mercy. Yes. Walk humbly yes. with your God. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. That's, 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 that's in the book. <laughs> It is now my privilege and honor to introduce the leader of our great city, the first African-American female mayor of St. Louis, the Honorable Tashara Jones, who is not only competent, qualified, and capable, but she is committed to making sure that St. Louis is the best city that it can be. I've had the privilege and honor of knowing her for the past 30 years, and within that time, I have always seen her be committed to making sure that St. Louis is the best city that it can be. You recently saw in Time Magazine that St. Louis was acknowledged as a city that is doing the right thing where the trend with crime is going down. And so I thank her for her tireless commitment to making sure that St. Louis is as good as we all want it to be, as that bright city shining on a hill as an example of greatness to America. So please welcome our mayor, Tashara Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It's an honor 
honored to join you today at this powerful, powerful MLK Day celebration. Thank you to Urban League President Mike McMillan for presiding today. And thank you to Reverend Robinson for that beautiful invocation. That's right. As we come together today for justice across racial lines, different backgrounds and faith, we recommit ourselves to standing with our Jewish brothers and sisters against mm. the anti-Semitism we witnessed yes. just this last weekend in Texas at Beth Israel. Yes, yes. Before I get started, I'd like to recognize our heroes that we lost, but are here with us in spirit. Dr. Henry and, Do and Dr. Bell McGivens. Yes. yes. The yes. Honorable Betty Thompson. Yes. yes. The Honorable Hazel Irby. Yes. yes. Jeanette Culpepper. Yes. yes. Rachel Hankerson. Yes. yes. Roy Gillespie. Yes. Christopher Green. Yes. Reverend Albert Mason Sr. and so many more. Yes. yes. It's especially powerful that we are honoring Dr. King here on the steps of the old courthouse. Our ancestors were sold into slavery on these steps, yes. but it's these same steps that they sued for their freedom and some of them won. That's right. I often speak about the freedom suits where hundreds of enslaved black people who demanded their humanity in a country that forced millions into servitude. More than 150 years ago, Dred Scott and his wife Harriet Robinson Scott sued for their freedom in this very building forever marking St. Louis's quiet but powerful position in the civil rights pantheon. Their fight at, a at the time was mocked and derided. In his time, Dr. King was too. His advocacy and anti-war views held a mirror up to our country and confronted and forced so many to face injustice and racism. That's uncomfortable for a lot of us. I'm gonna repeat that. That's uncomfortable yes. for a lot of us. Yes. But those conversations are tough, yes. and it's the only way we're going to move forward. All right, Steve. So as we stand here today to commemorate Dr. King, let us recognize those who fought for unity in our community, those who bring neighborhoods together in his legacy to fight back against the scourges of poverty, racism, and violence that hold our region back. Our fight to protect voting rights often from some of the same politicians who dare quote Dr. King on this day, does not end when we leave today. All right. We organize against those moderates in power who refuse to pass voting rights legislation yeah. while the fate of our democracy is on the line. Yeah. All right. Our efforts to eradicate poverty after decades of intentional disinvestment from black neighborhoods is an ongoing one. Poverty is the, fa is the father of violence and crime and we cannot address one without addressing the other. Yeah. And know this, know this, yeah. as the first black woman mayor of our city, right. as someone who brings all of my lived experiences into an office that was not built for me, <laughs> as the first mayor in 20 yeah. years to be born, raised, and still live in North St. Louis. Come on, yeah. right? All right. You will always have a friend in me. Mm. You will always have an ally in me, mm. and I am with you. Because our city cannot succeed together if one if one half of it is left to fail. Full equality and equity across racial lines, across zip codes, across any identity you hold is what will make St. Louis win again. Dr. King understood that message and it's up to us to continue his legacy. So thank you to the MLK Holiday Committee for organizing this important event. God bless you all. Thank you. Uh, it is now my honor to bring Colonel Richard Banks and Lieutenant Colonel Troy Doyle. As we talk about progress and as we talk about working together and as we talk about our region, we have to have good police. And so it is imperative to have people that are in positions of leadership that are going to make sure that that is the case. And so I am proud to call both of these men my friend and ask them to please come to bring remarks on behalf of law enforcement. Thank you, Mr. McMillan. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure uh, to be here with you guys this morning. Uh, I'm not going to speak long because I know there's a bunch of other people behind me, but I did want to mention I know there's uh, hundreds if not thousands of Dr. Martin Luther King uh, speeches if not quotes out there, but I will leave you with this one. Um, Dr. King once said that 
life ends when we stop worrying about things that matter. I, I challenge each and every one of you all out here today, continue to worry about things that matter. That includes women rights, right. voting rights, and our civil rights. That's continue right. to, to fight. Okay. Uh, continue to fight. Stay united with your mayor. Stay united with your county executive. We all got to come together. The theme this year is unity from my understanding. We all got to come together to make sure that we make what's best for our community. With that said, God bless you and thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Very good. Good stuff. It is now my honor to bring forth a representative from the St. Louis District Corps of Engineers, Ms. Patty Pelican. Today I'm representing the St. Louis Federal Executive Board, which is a network of about 42,000 federal employees and military personnel in St. Louis, Missouri, Eastern Missouri, uh, Southern Illinois, and Southwestern Kentucky. I'm here today because of the commitment of the Federal Executive Board to be a forum to help foster diversity, equity, and inclusion in all levels of federal employment and programs and also public service. And I'm so honored to be here today. Thank you. All right. Well, we want to acknowledge the presence of the NAACP that is here registering people to vote to make sure that we all have our ability to express ourselves at the ballot. Give them a big round of applause and thanks. It is now my privilege to bring forth another history maker the first African-American elected president of the Board of Aldermen in the history of the city of St. Louis, who just recently did something that is so incredibly important that many of us may not have noticed. Many years ago, when I was a much younger man, I was at the Board of Aldermen, and we had an extremely contentious redistricting vote. We recently had what could have been the most contentious one in the history of this city when 14 wards were eliminated and 28 committee people. But with all 42 of those elected positions being eliminated, you did not see St. Louis in the midst of any type of enormous, scandalous behavior because our president led an effort to make sure that we avoided that and that St. Louis was on the right track, making the right decisions at the right time for the right reason. So it is my honor to bring forth the president the Board of Aldermen to speak on behalf of all elected officials that are here today, Mr. Lewis Reed. All right, all right. right. Yeah. Let's warm everybody up. Let's keep yeah. that dream alive. Keep, keep that, that dream, dream alive. alive. Keep that dream alive. Keep that dream alive. Come on, media. Keep, keep that dream alive. Keep that dream alive. Go ahead. Keep that dream alive. Keep that dream alive. Okay. Keep that dream alive. I tell you what. Keep that dream alive. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to be here today. You excited to be here today? Yes, yes sir. First, let's give a big round of applause to Meraldine Gales, who yes. has done so much yes. over these 55 years yes. to keep this dream alive. Yes. So how do we keep that dream alive? You know, I've been giving a lot of thoughts year after year as we come here. How do we keep that dream alive? And I think about it all year long. We look at our youth and, and the direction of our youth and the many challenges that they're up against today that we, are, we haven't had to be up against, right? We have to tell them and put our arms around them and tell them, don't just carry the dream. Don't just understand the dream, but to be the dream. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. So join me with that. We want them to do what? Be, be the dream. The dream. Yes. So we're going to tell our youth, be the dream. Yes. We're going to tell them that, yes, you can. Yes. 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 The difference between your situation and the situation of someone else that you see out there that you want to, you want to emulate and you wish it was you is opportunity. So let's give them that opportunity so that they can be the dream. And that's how we keep that dream alive. That's right. Yeah. So we need to continue to push that message. We need to let them know, yes, you can. We need to let them know there's greatness within you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that your dreams can be manifest if indeed you stay on course. And that's how you keep that dream alive. All right. So keep that yeah. dream keep alive. alive. Keep, keep that, that dream alive. alive. All of our elected officials, raise your hand. We just yeah. want to thank you. Give them a big round. Yeah. 
And we also want to thank all of the members of the media that are here. Raise your hand, please. We thank you for being here with us today, for covering this event, letting the community know what we are doing and how we are trying to make sure that Dr. King's dream is never something that is forgotten and is always something that is remembered, embraced, and lived. It is now my privilege and honor to bring back Lady Merdine as she presents several awards this morning. All right. Thank you, Honorable Dr. Michael P. McMillan. This is going to be real quick and to the point. Somehow now that I feel that this is actually the uh, year of the woman. And I say that because of our mayor, Lady Shashara Jones, who delivered a wonderful address here. And I know that there are enough clergy people that are going to go and make that a sermon. <laughs> she said that the father of all these evils is poverty. Yes. That's something to think about, isn't it? That's right. That is something to think about. I'm going to ask her pastor to bring her forth. And that's none other than the Honorable, and I call her Honorable because, you know, some people are born to girls and they get to be women, but you got to make yourself a lady. Amen. And she wanted to be one. My friend. Yes. Yes. Dr. Kosh. Mr. Gary. The Honorable Michael Macmillan. Let's present to St. Louis with the thunderous head on prod and say, go ahead, Sister Ollie May Stewart. Yes. Ollie Wonderful. Yeah, it is. I know y'all. <laughs> well, we, you know, we worked hard and got the shots. We were the first to get the shots. But that's not what I'm here today. I'm here because our voting right is on an incubator. Yeah. And we know right. we got enough doctors and nurses to get it well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what I'm depending on today. I can't believe that. And Murdy, you know, we've been marching a long time, walking from here to Forest Park going to Cairo and every place else. But I can't believe that our senators, some of the senators that we vote for, mm. we voted for through the years, refused to vote for the voting right bill. That's right. That's what, so I want everybody to call somebody, call your senators, register people to vote. That's my, that's my mission, is to register the people to vote and make sure that this voting, John Lewis voting right bill pass. Yes. Right. The other person I'd like to present to you has done a wonderful job in our city as an elected official over the years, my sister and friend. Well, one thing about it, I know if you call her on Saturday evening at a certain time, she's studying her Sunday church school lesson. Some of us said, what is that? <laughs> Do y'all know about that? Y'all know about a Sunday church school? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, some of y'all say y'all went with y'all's great grandma, but you need to go with yourself right now. Because God is everything. And I want you to honor with the thunderous applause, Lady Mavis Thompson. Yeah. yeah. To God be the glory for all the marvelous things that he has done. And when we look around, we have so many people that we stand on their shoulders. To receive an honor from your peers is the highest honor that anyone can receive. And I thank the Martin Luther King Commission. But also, we need to fight. It's not a time. Like, Jay, where are you? Okay, help me now, Jay. Uh, no, no celebration without legislation. No celebration without legislation. And you remember, Dr. King was a pastor first. He's a minister. It's all about getting along. How can we get along if we can't even vote? We have people that die. Die. Blood has been shed. It's the number one thing that we can do for our community, Madam Mayor, is to put, make a push and make sure that this John Lewis Voting Rights Act is passed. Again, blessings to all of you. All right.
Listen, we are so glad, the Dr. Martin Luther King Holiday Committee is so glad that you all are here this morning. You could have made a choice like your people and stay at home and just watch it on TV and said what I'm eating for lunch. But you all made a choice to be here. Some others have made the choice to be here that we could not do what we do without them. And those are our people who supported us and our sponsors. So please, at this time, I would like to have a representative from out front. Did you all see that big billboard? Yeah. Have you all seen the billboards all over the city? Yeah. Give yeah. out front a hand, y'all. They're my people. Yeah. Where's out front at? Come on down here. They want to see the people. Yeah. <laughs> you all already know we got Hallelujah. BJ, DJ, where you? Come on up here, man. All right. All right. All right. We cannot do what we do. We know education rules the nation. Change right. starts here. Harris State University. Where the hundred? Where, where, where the girls at? Where they, they get back? Y'all, they, they, they young. They young, y'all. They here. Everybody, give a hand for Harris State University. Dr. Latanya Collins Smith is here. All right, well, cool, fantastic. Care STL Health. Where's Care STL Health at? Deneen. Deneen was over there. Deneen was over where? Deneen. She was over by Raise the I guess she's going to get everybody healthy. <laughs> she must have left. She must have left. All right, fantastic. WESL, Chuck and Terry, 24 yes, right there. Yes, yes, fantastic. Yes, yes. We could not do what we do without people who step up in big, big, big ways. So I want to say to the Urban League, and I tell you all, everybody that say, you know, it's always the Urban League. Say it, Urban League, Urban League. Yeah, you sure right. Mm -hmm. Always <laughs> Urban League. Say it, say it. And guess what? When they were giving off all the groceries, when they giving away the vaccinations, when they giving away you're paying y'all bills, when y'all hurt, eat, electricity, they know how to say, they, they know how to say Urban League did, right? All the school supplies, Urban League. So guess what? Give it up. Everybody say Urban. When I say Urban, you say League. Urban. Go. There we go. And then guess what? We got to make sure that we say thank you to Affinia. Affinia, in the neighborhood doing good. One vaccination, one education with health. There we go, Steve. Yes, sir. Steve Harmon. Affinia Healthcare. We'll be doing uh, COVID testing and vaccines at Vashon after the motorcade. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Awesome. All right, listen, your honor, mayor, here's what you got to make sure you know. People are listening to us. Everybody, mm -hmm. I don't know, if some, who, who has never traveled out here? Because we live in St. Louis and we get comfortable. And we say St. Louis and St. Louis and St. Louis, but guess what? People, we're making noise around St. Louis for some good things. Right. We have an organization that reached out to us who heard about what we were doing, and it's the gentleman from Social Change. Come on up here, sir, because you need to let them know what you bought with you from Chicago. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. You need to let them know about yes, the, the 30, 40 people who came from out of town and wow. stayed in a hotel. Right over there, that one. Right. Come on up, sir. Tell them what's up. Tell them. Tell them what's up. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. This is truly a blessed day. I'm grateful to be here, of course, with Living Legend, Brother Boyd, and just to share the stage, all the amazing work to give honor to one of the greatest leaders the world will ever know, Dr. King. I am Todd Melkor, I'm Executive Director of Social Change. We do pop-up events in response to immediate need, but more than anything, we focus on legislation. Because as you heard before, there's no celebration without legislation. And right now, too often, in our communities, our needs are overlooked as a result. The rules are stacked against us. So that's what we do. We fight in capitals across the nation to make sure the laws reflect what we need, what we need to see, so we can fulfill our greatest lives and fulfill our wildest dreams, like our ancestors demanded. So I'm grateful to be here. Uh, thank you for the honor and opportunity. Okay. Thank you for all the amazing folks who come together in this cold weather. And uh, I know to get up out the way to make sure you no, get to No, no, hold on a second. People, so. I bought your person so you can tell the people what you bought. Which, <laughs> see, all this thank you and good, that's, that's great. Right. Tell, tell them what you did. So we got. Got, of course, we got PPE, we got hand sanitizer, we have a few thousand pounds of food over here at the, at the Vashon site, so please get some fresh, healthy food. Right. We got greens, we got potatoes, we got rice, we they got, got beans. They got greens, beans, tomatoes, <laughs> like you, baby! We got it! <laughs> yes, we do. Because <laughs> we want everyone to live long and healthy lives, and healthy food is a key component for that. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you very much. St. Louis, man. St. Louis. God bless you. St. Louis. Tell the people. Tell the people, man. We appreciate you.
football, again, this is just a, a snippet of what we're doing. If you are doing a program and you don't include young people in your program, then guess what? You might as well go over to William C. Harris Mortuary and get ready to die. That's right. Because your program going to die. That's just a plug, y'all. Okay. Just a <laughs> streets 105.1, the voice of the streets for the young people. Tab, how important is it for you all to show up and show out for things like this and support it and get the word out? You know what? I'm, I'm here to teach the, the young kids. You know what I mean? If I can do it, they can do it. You know what I mean? And, right. And Dr. King, you know what I mean? Still in us, you know what I mean? To, to keep going. If we got to fight, we're going to fight 10 more years, 100 more years, 1,000 more years, and we're going to still be here. All right. So, this is where I'm at. And I'm freezing cold. All right. <laughs> Our community, our community partner, Miss Sarah from Save a Lot. Where are you, Sarah from Save a Lot? Come on, come on over here, Sarah. Girl, come, come on. Okay, just come up here and wave your hand. You're the one who wants to put blue jeans on in your comfortable shoes today. March and roll with it. Sarah from Save a Lot. Sarah, you all in the neighborhood doing good. Go ahead, say something to the people. Yeah, no, we're we're just we're we're proud to be um, a partner. Uh, this is an important event, and uh, we're, we're I love this year's theme of unity in the community, and we're definitely a supporter. That's what it is. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Save a lot. It's a lot of lot. Like jam on back to the parking lot. It's a lot of lot. Y'all, that was me. All right. That was you. All right, listen. We are also today, as you all can see, we're honoring and making sure that we keep the memories alive. Keep the memories of lives. And these are the memories of Dr. Henry Gibbons. Yes. Somebody say Dr. Gibbons. Dr. Dr. Bell McGibbons. Somebody say Dr. Dr. Gibbons. The Honorable Betty Thompson. Somebody yes. say get up. Get up. Dress up. Dress up. Eat up. Eat up. Pay up. Pay up. Or shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the Honorable Hazel Irby. Yes. All right. Um, the Honorable Evangelist Rachel Hankerson. Yes. yes. Oh my God, Irby Lee, he's looking down at us right now, Mike, I already know. Roy Gillespie. Yeah. Yeah. Roy Gillespie. Yeah. 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 Christopher Green, the artist that did all of the artwork for the banners for years, yeah. right? Yeah. Reverend Albert Mas Mason. 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 Mason, right. Mm -hmm. And here's the deal, we've got <laughs> Janet Culpepper. Janet Culpepper, and we've got a daughter. What, Janet, what's your, come on up here, girl. Say something, <laughs> say something to your people. Line. Um, I stand here today in representation of my grandmother, Jeanette Culpepper. Uh, if you guys know her, she has been advocating safe streets for over 30 years. Mm, that's right. That's right. And it's my job, along with her friends and mothers advocating safe streets, to continue her legacy. So we, we will continue to advocate for those families and all the ones that lost their lives due to gun violence. Thank you to everyone that has been my support and has Help me get through my grievance process, and I would like to thank you all for having me here. Yes. Thank you to the mayor, thank you to Ms. Mavis, Mass, President Reed, yes. St. Louis City and St. Louis County Police Department, St. Louis City and St. Louis County Homicide Department. Thank you all. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. As we get to the point where we're about to close and go up, there's so many of you all who have registered or who have not registered to be in the motorcade, we're just glad that you're here. And all we need you all to do is just make sure that when we pull forward, then put your car and drive and pull forward too. And we don't need nobody getting out to my, that's my spot, that's my spot. If it's your spot, I need you to go over to save a lot. And they can take care of you. But I tell you what, as you all can see, we've got the motorcade already lined up in the front. We're going to give you instructions as you pull around. But William C. Harris funeral directors. Mr. William C. Harris? Yes. Where is he? He's the last one to let you down. Get it? Yeah. 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 Y
A fee is providing drive-through testing and also go inside and get your vaccination. Also, Carry STL St. Louis, they're doing the same thing, right? So I ask you to take the lead, talk to your families, talk to your friends. It's trying to, time to get COVID, it's time for you to get it right. But here's what you do. Because I do want everybody to understand this. Everybody has a choice. Raise your hand. If you believe everybody has a choice. You, everybody has a choice. You don't have to do it. You don't have to take it. It's your choice. But when you don't, do me a big favor. I need you to make sure your family knows to call over the William C. Harris funeral director. And I need you to let them know that you want Mr. Gary on the program because when they when they embalm you and roll your body out, I'm gonna come to your family and I'm gonna say, what do you say, what do you say? This is what it looks like when you don't get vaccinated. Okay, <laughs> okay. William C. Harris, yeah, I said it. William, where you at? Come on up. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Harris. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I just wanna say happy Martin Luther King Day. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that everybody does get vaccinated. And what Mr. Gary said is real. Mm -hmm. It is real. Mm -hmm. I see it every day, all day, mm -hmm. and it's real. And it's, it's, it's important that you all get vaccinated, get your booster, and protect yourself because it, 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 is, it is taking us out in, in massive numbers. Mm -hmm. So again, happy Martin Luther King Day to everyone, and good morning. And good morning. Good morning. All right, you all. Thank you all so much. As we close out now, I'm going to bring up our none other than Mr. Dr. Michael Patrick McMillan, always doing so good, always in the streets with the young people. But a shout out to everyone. Annie Malone is being represented. They're in the parade. Jeep yeah. formers. Listen, yeah. we got the Jeeps out yeah. today. They got 40 Jeeps yeah. in this right. motorcade yeah. today, right? Wow. You all can Our turn around and see everybody yeah. else that's there. But guess what? Because you all know when you're on the program, you know how people do. They talk about it when it's over and said and done, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so nobody will talk about me. Yeah. The people on the MLK committee, I want to say thank you to you all. Yeah. So you already know Lady Murdine, <laughs> Nigel Ward, where you at, Mr. Nigel? Patricia yeah. Barber, Minister Reginald Anthony, Anthony Bell, Marvin Carr, and Johnny Little. Mm -hmm. It's done. Now do me one last favor. Raise your hand to the right. Raise your hand to the left. Turn to the right, say you've been recognized. <laughs> Turn to the left, say you've been recognized. Don't nobody leave here this morning and say you weren't recognized, okay? Dr. Michael McMillan. All right. We will conclude today's program with a benediction, and I'm going to ask Reverend E.G. Shields to please come and do that. As he comes, we had acknowledged the NAACP earlier, but I want to acknowledge the president of St. Louis County yes. NAACP, Brother John Bowman, who is here as he comes. Thank you very much. Dear God, we thank you for our gathering. We thank you for all that has transpired. We pray your blessings upon us as we leave this place. God, direct and keep us and let us keep the dream alive. And when you allow us to come together again, in an assembly of this magnitude, we'll be quick to give your name to praise. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray now. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Sweet potatoes, let's give them that too. Okay. Oh, my car doesn't have anything. Can someone pass me milk or eggs? Okay. Alright, All right, you got sweet potatoes, potatoes, greens, oranges, beans, rice. That's not a Okay, I got boxes now. Good. But as we take our wreath and we go to places here, the wreath is being placed here at Basham High School because it is a cry for unity in the community with our young people, with our children. So that's why we've chosen to place the wreath here today. And for everyone who has a young person that is in your life, in your neighborhood, in your church, we need you to make sure that you talk to them. Get inside the head, make sure that they understand what this is, because this is a day on, not a day off. So.